Hi, welcome back to Page Bros Design. I'm finally ready to decorate the Halloween trees. My husband says he thinks that I have a Halloween factory here at the house, and I think he might be right. Come see what I did. So to get started, I start hanging all of the largest ornaments first. In this case, like we aren't hanging them. Uh, I put clothespins on the bottoms of all of these because of course I think it looks more normal for a pumpkin to be sitting than to be hanging. And the orange tree is the one I'm going to do first. It gets decorated with um, the bloody eyeball bats and scary pumpkins and these really cool um, black flocked uh, tarantulas that I found at Dollar Tree and some glitter spiders that I found at Dollar General. And uh, we're going to hang the bats first because we want them free flowing as if they're flying and we don't want them to be encumbered by any of the other ornaments so we're going to hang the bats first. Try to evenly space them and imagine as if you were spiraling around the tree. Now once you've done one spiral around and you have a few, a few ornaments like this, then go in and fill in your gaps. Like down here is a little gap. Now you're going to go to um, the largest pumpkins or your largest ornaments. You can see I just put the clothespin on the back of the bottom of them. And because these are a little heavier, I'm having to, to place them closer to the trunk of the tree because the stems of this tree are not quite strong enough to hold it. But think about how it's viewed. Um, because you're having to place it in, you want something where you can see it. So these two branches are open and allow you to see the face of the pumpkin. And again, you're going to evenly space it and sort of do a spiral around the tree. You're only going to be able to go sort of midway up the tree with these because with a large pumpkin like this at the top, it's going to look top heavy. Now on to the medium sized pumpkins. And you'll be able to put a few of these medium sized pumpkins at the top of the tree. Um, if you have a larger tree like that, you can do a lot of them. This one is quite small at the top. Think about um, the color that you're placing. So don't put two pumpkins of light color together. Always allow there to be contrast. If they're lightweight enough, these medium ones can hang out at the end of the branches, give you a little variation of ornaments from the inside to the outside of the tree. And always step back, look at it from a distance. See where you're missing the ornament. Now you're going to 
kind of spiders. And um, these spiders are what I call sort of my contrast element that brings all of these disparate uh, elements together, makes them pop. It's, um, it's something that sort of grounds the tree because they're, they're so dark and they're so noticeable, they sort of pop out, but they help to let the pumpkins and the other ornaments really shine. Places, uh, spiders crawling in all different directions. Ooh, we're not going to take that bounce. That really should be lesson one to one. Make sure your tree is completely straight before you decorate it. These small spiders we can wait until after we place all the pumpkins and put them on. Now to the small pumpkins. And my rule of thumb with especially small ones, because they're my favorites, um, I put the ones that I like the most where I can see them the most. Butter spiders. And we're done. Okay, my big fail on this was that I didn't lock down the tree and have it completely straight when I started. But other than that, I think it has turned out pretty successful. And uh, that's the end of the orange tree. Two more trees to go.